Today, what we're going to look at is the training that you do for the endurance or cardio part of High Rocks event. So the, the ski, the row, and the run. And what I'm going to suggest is doing three specific sessions for all of them, for each of them, whichever one you want to develop. One tempo, one speed, one endurance session. But what we want to do before we do that is get a baseline. So my suggestion is to do a 5k time trial for whichever one or for all of them um, to get a time on the board that you can utilise into them sessions. So first of all, we're going to have a look, look at them. So for example, I've just done a 5k row in 20 minutes. Good respectable row time. That means my average pace is two minutes per 500 meters. And we're talking specifically about a concept two row here, which is what we'll be using on the day. And what we're gonna use is we're gonna use that pace as our baseline, like we said before, for each of the sessions. So for tempo, we're looking at about a 30 to 60 minute session, and it's gonna be efforts of one to five minutes at about 95 to 110% of that pace. For the speed work, we're looking at much shorter session, much shorter efforts. So we're looking at 20 to 40 minute session, 15 to 60 seconds effort with a minute to three minute recovery. So we're working really hard, but then we're allowing our energy system to recover between the efforts. And then the third session would be an endurance session. We're looking at around 90% starting at about 45 minutes, working up to 90 minutes to maybe even two hours for some of us. But specifically with that endurance one, you also want to be keeping an eye on your heart rate. On that endurance effort, you don't really want your heart rate going any more than 75%. We don't want a strong finish. We just want to stick 60 to 75% nice and steady. We're building that aerobic energy system. So we've got our two minutes. What I would usually do is break that down into seconds. So 120 seconds. And then I would just, for each of these, I would do my 120 divided by 0.9. So now we've got all this information, how do you use it? So what we want to do is for about a six week block of training. So six weeks per week, you wanna do one time tempo, one time speed, and one time endurance. The tempo is gonna be 40, 40 to 60 minutes total time speed will be 20 to 40 and your endurance session will be maybe starting around 30 minutes all the way up to about 90 minutes which is your total high rocks time maybe the higher level athletes might want to go up to 120 minutes on that um, but don't just jump straight up to that amount of time. So for the tempo, we're looking at working at 95 to 110%. Speed, 110 to 120%. And endurance, we're looking at about 90%. But at less than 75% heart rate, max heart rate. For this tempo session, we're looking at six to eight sets. Of one to five minutes with 15 to 90 seconds recovery. For the speed session, we're going to do shorter efforts, but with longer recoveries. So we might look for maybe six to 10 sets 
we're doing 15 seconds all the way up to about 60 seconds at this higher intensity but we're making sure we get one to three minutes rest between each one so obviously the time of this would really affect that because for longer efforts will need that full three minutes recovery to get the most out of your speed session you don't want to be turning it into a tempo session by not having enough recovery it's really important on a speed session in endurance session it's just one long effort steady effort around 90 percent less than 75 percent heart rate so you don't really need to worry too much about them so i hope that's giving you a bit of structure Obviously, when you're first starting off, start these lower numbers and build up to the higher numbers for the higher distances, the higher times throughout your six week block. And hopefully by the time you got to the end of your six week block, you can retest your 5K row, 5K ski, your 5K run. And hopefully you get a better time. You'll also be a lot fitter overall for your high rocks race. So give it a go now. You've got four weeks, four and a half weeks until Manchester six and a half weeks until Glasgow so you've got some really good time to get some good enjoyment training in. Good luck!